Hi guys, another horror DVD review for you today. This time we're going to be reviewing the um, horror film which I just watched called The Fit. Now this was released in 2014. Um, pretty recently, I think towards the end of 2014. I picked this up in Asda for three pounds in order to do many of my one-on-one -on -one films. Uh, I've been watching a lot of them recently, a lot of the newer ones. I it must have about 15 of their films now, I've got a lot. I do like one-on-one -on -one films. I mean, generally the films tend to be low quality, but every now and again, you do get a film like this, which I do enjoy. And it's a nice surprise, because I go into the one-on-one -on -one films expecting not much, you know what I mean, a bit of, maybe a bit of a laugh at a low-budget film, and some pretty poor films from time to time, some are really bad. But then every now and then, I do get surprised and get one like this. Now, the title of the film is not brilliant, it's The Fear. Um, it doesn't really stand out, you know, it doesn't really tell you much. Uh, the back as well is very sort of typical. In other words, Mike and Marisol are given a tour of their potential dream home by a perky real estate agent. They soon, doubt, they soon find out that their perfect house has a past. Um, so, you know, it sounds pretty standard, you know. You'd think from that, that would be a couple got they get a house, they've just got married, etc. They have some sex and then they start getting haunted or whatever. Uh, however, this has a... This isn't ex what I was expecting at all. Basically, whilst they're going around this tour of the house, um, they're going to certain areas, and it will basically you'll then cut to a flashback. The majority of the film is actually a flashback, um, in which showing some of the horrors that have happened in this house. Now, there's, a, there's, there's, there's I think there's a three, maybe four, three. three. Um, you know, backstories, and each of them are pretty good. I know my favourite. Um, now basically, you know, it's just this couple out there, they're just getting led around by this woman who's very seductive towards the man, it was really weird, I didn't get that at all, but um, I didn't really get her character, she seemed to know there was something up with the house, how, I don't know, because um, she's not involved in any of the backstories or anything, she just knew there was something wrong with this house, which was weird. Uh, the backstories, the first one is as a family, they go to their neighbours, uh, well, they're the neighbours of this house, and they go to the house to visit a guy, and basically, he doesn't really like them, and then he starts, he basically kidnaps them, and his motive, it sounds crazy, but it, it, it was fun, is basically the, the dad threw away was it his weed cutter or something, so he thinks, if you throw away my stuff, I'm going to throw away your stuff, i.e. your wife and children, um, which is pretty bizarre. Um, another one was a woman, I believe this is supposed to be, I don't think that's actually her though, um, that's been captured by a maniac who's a murderer, and he, you know, he, he's got a weaker schedule. Uh, Mondays, he... I'm not sure what he does on Mondays. Tuesdays, he brings a new captive. Wednesdays, he feeds the captive here, and she's been here for like five years. Um, Thursday, he kills the person. And first days he has sex with that woman. Um, so she's in there. What? Fridays. <laughs> Fridays, yes. Yeah, so she does that. Fr he does that Fridays, and if she doesn't behave, he does it off the butt. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so it's it's quite you know this guy is very twisted. He wants her there for an audience, you know. Otherwise he says, I believe it's I'd just be some creep in a basement killing people. But for him, he gets to because she's there. He gets to perform, which was quite an interesting concept. Um, you know, she was she was so numbed by it because she'd been there for like five years. Like, funnily enough, the her mother uh, knocks on this guy's house, and she, you know she's going house to house with this wanted po uh, missing poster. Still, um, so you know, you, her mom was still looking for her, and all the while she's been in this basement watching him murder people. Um, you know, and she was twisted. She's like black teeth, her hair's all messy. Um, and she's you know so 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 just okay with it all pretty much. She just accepts it, and uh, it was quite fun. That I really enjoyed that segment. That was my favourite uh, flashback segment. The oh one which I didn't really like. Um, it was the first one to get properly fleshed out, to be properly shown. Um, the the family that get captured. That was kind of a uh, I forgot the word epilogue prologue. Uh, ooh. anyway, yeah, that was shown at first. But the first one to get properly fleshed out was um. It was like, it was like a Jonah Storm, there was four people, a uh, young boy and a girl, with their mum and dad, and the mum was a bitch, absolutely horrible, she would get on the back, dad's back, and every time like, it flashed out, electricity went out, uh, someone would murder one of the family, like, first it was, it was the dad who got decapitated, and then they killed the mum, and it turns out it's the two kids that killed them both, and then try and kill each other, and I didn't really like that one, that was really weird, that was probably the worst part of the movie, that one, uh, but I was willing to forgive it, 
purely for the captain segment. That was really good. I really enjoyed that one. Uh, the Gore in the film was always really good. I was so surprised. There's bits of CGI which was a bit dodgy. But there was lots of practical effects and the blood was free flowing. Uh, personal highlight was probably the scalpel to the eyelids, removing the eyelids. Um, which was quite fun. Uh, it looked a bit weird, though. I think that his eyes afterwards were CGI, but I can forgive it because it was pretty well done overall. I mean, you know, there was plenty of blood, plenty of blood. I mean, it do, did deserve the 18. Um, there's a lot of films these days tend to have like, well, like a little bit of blood and you get rated 18. I don't know why, but yeah, this had some really good torture in it, some really good kills, some really good practical effects. Um, the acting was a no no, very bad. Um, a lot of it was really poor, especially the man who cap who take who kind of like captures the whole family. He was really bad. There's a guy at the end of the film as well who's viewing the house that was laughable. Um, yeah, there's a couple of other characters that were really, ugh. but anyway. I was able to see past that because I enjoyed this film. Overall, for enjoyment, I'm giving it a 6 out of 10. And you want to rate it? Bye. Hey, no, uh, <laughs> Lizzie really, really enjoyed this film. She was giggling to herself throughout it. Uh, probably because it wasn't like a scary one, just some, a nice violent porn, torture porn uh, film, which she enjoyed. So, yeah, it was a good film. And I would definitely, if you see it, I would probably recommend checking it out. You know, there's, there's some good ideas in there. Uh, especially with the violence and overall, you know, there's not m there's not a massive plot to the film, um, but I think you know it's quite well written as well. Uh, I did enjoy listening to the conversations, especially with the main actor. It was so twisted some of the motives in there. Anyway, it's a fun film, so I would definitely check this out if you got the time or you want. You know, if you're into torture porn, go psychopaths, all of that. Do you know what I mean? It's it's good. Um, so yeah, that is pretty much my review of uh, The Fair. I hope you enjoyed it. Please have a look through some of my other videos and I'm sure you'll be able to stumble across some other good films. I reviewed quite a few films like this, so just keep, you know, check for my channel and you might be able to find yourself a new favourite horror film. Anyway, thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of your day.